Yo, what's up, YouTube? This is your boy Enrique, aka Biggie's Comics, coming at you with this week's comic book haul. That's right, guys. I know it's been like a week and a half, I haven't made a video, but I haven't gotten any books. I haven't gone to my local LCS in you know a couple of weeks, but I'll be, I'll go there Friday. I'll pick up my books, and we'll have a video this weekend showing what I picked up from my LCS stores, you know, from my local comic shops. But I do have some books because um I did a trade with my boy Market Three One Six, so I got those books in already, and also I have won the fourth place prize in Simplified Comic Guys uh, Amazing Spider-Man Three Hundred contest. So um I the you know the fourth. Fourth place prize was a twenty-five dollar gift card, and I was I got the books in that I purchased that was twenty-five dollars. So I got that to show you. But before we get into those books, I just want to do a quick contest update because I just gotta say thank you to each and every one of you that's made a video. It's actually been a little overwhelming because it's just so many entries, and um, I think I've watched all the videos. And um, if you, I'm gonna I'm gonna go over the list, and if you don't see a name on this list, just hit me up in the comments of this video. Let me know that you made a video, and I'll go to your channel and watch it. Do not put the I ask that you not put the link on the comments because what's happening is the link is being spammed and um, I don't get the alert if it's being spammed. I would have to literally go into the web browser and check my my spam my messages on the YouTube website. And I don't really, I don't do that too often to be honest. I use YouTube straight up through my phone, through my app. So just leave a comment. I'll get the notification. I'll go to your channel and I'll watch it. And if I'm not some reason I'm not sub to you, I'll sub you. Watch the video and um and put you down for an entry. So that being said, let me just go over the list real quick and show you who's made videos already. So here we go. First one is Eddie the Comic Guy, Tats Comics. Carrie, Gary the Comic Noob, Angel B the Collect Fun 27, Freddy D's 562, Joe Hawk, Pain Ace Comics, Ray Jr., Comic Book Fanatics, um, Marty 316, Dr. Von Chilla, Jeff Johnson, Old Man Gamer, uh, Doom 143. Then we got Lady D's Dead View, uh, Black Star Comics, The Comic Crypt of Castle Hills. Her Collects Comics, Spectacular Spider Grandpa, The CFG Channel, Davis Greg, Davis Green, sorry, uh, Kyle Rowe, Repetate 728, Comic Noob, Era 212, Why Not Art, Tom Ryan, JLS Comics, GD Rod, uh, Britain and Alyssa Comics, uh, Nitron 475, there's more guys, <laughs> uh, Gennaro's Comics, Amazing Murphinator 1028, Archangel, J-Rod Ham 78, Nerdivision, Abor Samper, Comic Fan, Contender, and Louis Jewel. Guys, thank you so much. 38 entries. Very overwhelming. I did not expect this amount of entries so far. And I just want to say thank you to each one of you. I've watched all 38 of these videos. I have comments on all of them. I'm sub to all these guys. So if you guys heard any of these channels here that you're not sub to, I made a playlist of all their video entries and I made it public. So just go to my channel. You'll see the playlist and you can reach all these guys' wonderful channels and um, just an assortment of videos of just all ranges of books from golden age to silver age to bronze to current to modern to specific artists specific uh titles it's just amazing amount of videos and it's great videos because it's just showing the books that they love the, the covers how great of a video is that to just see what people love to collect you know what i'm saying so that that playlist is up and running and it's public so you guys can all see it and sub these wonderful people and um keep the videos coming um the last day is august 30th and then on the 31st i will make uh the the you know the the video to see who won so all right so let's get into the books right so the first set of books i'm going to show you is i did a trade with my boy market 316 and um i traded him what was it that i traded for this oh my god see it's been like three weeks already since we traded and i forgot what i gave him. oh i gave him i know what i gave him now he made a video already with the trade but the trade was for this one right here this is the um you know justice league number one the sketch of every michael turner the reason i wanted this was because aspirin had messed up my order and when i ordered a set they sent me two color ones instead of the black and white you know sketch which the one i really wanted the most and and the color they sent me two of the color ones so um he had I had some books off his wish list that he wanted that he needed, so I gave him those books and he hooked me up with this one. So, Marky, 
thank you so much. But in typical NY Warrior fashion, he always, you know, he just threw something else in, <laughs> which I'm grateful for, you know. Uh, this is one of the, this is like a premium format. Like, it's almost like a trade paperback, scroll book. Lex Luthor, The Unauthorized Biography. And you know, he knows I'm a huge Superman fan. And that's an awesome book. Look at that, man. That man looks like he's running for president or something. <laughs> you know, so, um, haven't read it yet. I'm looking forward to cracking this open and checking it out and see, you know, see what it's about. So, Marky316, bro, thank you so much. I really do appreciate it. And if you guys are not sub to Marky316, again, he made a video for the contest. So, his, uh... Just check out the playlist and you can check them out and you can give them a sub also. All right. So the next set of books are, I won, like I mentioned earlier, I won Simplified Comics, guys, Amazing Spider-Man 300 contest. I was actually the fourth place uh, prize and the fourth place prize was a $25 uh, gift card. So, you know, Vince, he sent it to me right away. So I had told him, I said, you know what, this that $25 is going to go to a nice Batman book. But I had something else on my watch list that actually came up like the next day, and it, and I said, you know what? I'm gonna use it. I'm gonna use it for this one. And I put my max bid, and I think on the off air hangouts I said I paid twenty one dollars for it, but I was mistaken. It wasn't twenty one dollars. I ended up paying sixteen dollars for this next book, and that includes the shipping. So that came out of uh, the twenty five dollars that he sent me. So let me just without you know, let me let me just stop babbling and show you guys what I got. Bam. Picked up my copy of New Gods number one, first appearance of, of Orion. Good old Jack Kirby's introduction to the fourth world. You already know this and the forever people. That, that's the type of books that I like. I've been hunting this book for a while. Just a price that I would not pay for it. It was always going over $40, $50. And it just felt like, you know, I wanted to get a better deal. And the reason I think I got this for a better deal is because this X right here, you know, scared a lot of people off. But this book, that X, all that is, is just back in the day when stores used to have to get credit back for their books and stuff like that. They would have to mark it with an X to show that the you know the books were destroyed or, or they couldn't sell the books after that because nobody would buy a book from a from a store with that on, you know, like a brand new book when it came out at the time. So that's I think scared off a lot of buyers. That's why I got it for so cheap. But to me, I don't care because I've seen these X's sometimes with cleanings and pressings fade out, but the book is in excellent excellent condition really tight corners there's no indents in here at all none at all the spine super clean super clean spine super clean spine in this book and i'm telling you like if i ever get grade grade this i'm pretty sure it's gonna get a high grade because i hear that that they don't really knock off too much maybe a point for that so if this book ranged in the nines like if it was a 9.0 or 9.2 it would probably grade out at an a5 or 8.0 and for this book and the age of this book that's that's a good grade you know so i'm really happy to have that book you know now i gotta hunt i want to get the next 10 issues and then i'll be done with that one so that was like i said that was only 16 bucks so i still had nine dollars to kill so i said to myself what am I going to spend that on? So what happened is my boy Undisputed Frost drilled it into our brains about Hillbilly and Eric Powell. And, um, you know, we were talking off air. I saw him doing the show and it just, you know, between him, Jared Osborne and um, Hollow Mouse, they just drilled that name into my head. So I was like, you know what? I got to get this book. I got to see what the fuss is about. So my boy Market 316, he went to his local shop and he found a copy for me at cover price. And I told him, pick it up for me. I'll send you the money PayPal. I'll send you the money for the shipping. No worries, brother. So that's what he did. He picked up the copy of Hillbilly Number no. 1 first printing for a cover price by Eric Powell. And I'm extremely happy to have that book. I, I honestly have not read it yet because I've been extremely busy with work. But this is the next book I'm going to crack open and, and check it out. And I'll let you know what, what I what I think about the book. I'll probably let you know on my show, on our, the New York Warriors show. I'll let you guys know what I think about this book. My You know, my opinion. Because I've heard everyone else's opinion. Now I want to give my own, my own personal opinion. And you know me, I'm a heavy DC guy and Marvel. I'm straight up superheroes. Um, you know, I do read a few independents like Walking Dead and things like that, but I, I'm not really into independent books too much. So um, it's good to see if this one of these books will cross me over into more independence. So, you know, I'm looking forward to uh, letting you guys know what I think about that. But you know what, Marky 316, man, you're just a straight up dude and you are one of a kind. And in typical fashion, 
he just doesn't send one book, you know? It's my fellow NY warrior. He got to, like, hook me up. He, he sent this one right here. Action Comics um, A44. This is done by Jeff Jones. And it's a Andy Kubert cover. So, oh, Adam Kubert cover. And I'm just, again, Mark, thank you so much, man. I really appreciate it. You, Mark just knows the type of books that I like. And he just... It never just sends one book. When it's supposed to be an even trade, he'll make you feel like, you know, he got to send an extra. But I do appreciate it. I understand the feeling because, I, I, you know, I do the same thing whenever I do trades with um, other YouTubers and friends. I always, you know, throw in a little extra and stuff like that because it always feels good to give. And it also feels good to receive. So I, I understand, you know. So that's it, guys. That's all I got for you guys this week. Quick little short and sweet. Um, I'll be on Friday. On Friday, I'll pick up my uh, my books, my LCS, and then I'll try to put out another video this weekend. And um, that's it. Keep the videos coming. Until the next video, peace.